I think I've seen the show. Yes, I have seen the show. Holy crap. Generic control in the deck goes I mean, You're back with another nostalgic good video. Today we're finishing up with the top 11 F ups with the part three where he is from the Internet State Penitentiary. I think that's how you say that word. I don't know. English is hard sometimes. You can check my reaction to the second part of this. I'll leave it right up there. Also, you're going to link down below the description. Also, you're going to play some on my channel with all my nostalgic good reactions. Go on to chronologic order. Now, I believe this is the video is kind of the reason why I'm watching all these because I did the Battlefield Earth video, which was the 100th nostalgic good video I ever did. And I got a cameo from Doug and people were talking about him messing up and it was in one of his top 11 f-ups so i was like oh i'll do the top 11 f-ups not knowing that there were three of them in that the first one had i think no movies or videos i had watched so i was pretty much unfamiliar with everything so here we are on part three i'm not sure what's going to be next week's video it could be some angry video game nerd I, that's will happen in the future i do read every single one of your comments so leave some down below i hope you have a wonderful day hope i pay a tiny little better shout out to the patrons because they get the videos day early and a lot of time at the paywall channel could not do this it wasn't for them wouldn't be able to uh donate the first day of revenue to uh charity shout outs if it wasn't for my patrons and whatnot but i read every single comment whether you're a patron or not or subscribed or not or like or dislike or not i'll also be live stream today at 5 p.m over on uh twitch playing some minecraft still exploring the new update having fun looking for some rare trims found a ton last stream it's gonna be a great time this coming up sunday is gonna be my birthday i'll be live streaming at 3 30 p.m might do some crazy thing might do some among us might do some minecraft challenges where viewers can like mess with the world uh somebody also said FNAF I'm not really sure you don't want to miss it it's gonna be a crazy time I've been warned that apparently people are gonna break the stream and break my computer and go absolutely insane so definitely do not miss that because it's gonna be a great time nonetheless but let's go ahead and jump into the top 11 f-ups part three all right you read the title you all know what's coming I yes I do <gasps> Yep, that, there we go. That was a critic! You are! Scrotum of existence. And you! Made some more fuck-ups. And I'm here to point them out. What is the time gap between these? Maybe I should be my own troll. No! Oh, wow. All I would have left then is leaving comments on YouTube. That's where today's real philosophers are! In the comments on YouTube? Three? Trust me, yes, they're not. This is the top 11 nostalgia critic fuck -ups I read hundreds of comments a day shit. and have for three years. No! How many Star Wars? always makes that mistake? Return of the Jedi is part six. Revenge of the Sith is part three. Just because it came out six doesn't mean that... Oh, it's God, just get on with it. Yeah. Hey, look. More muted audio. Hi. It's me and you and no audio. It's probably another real weird owl song. What am I looking at right now? What is that in the background? Bro's neck just turned into a right angle. I. Your count is Disney Simber. Disney Simber. Okay, I'm going a little bit out of character here just um, to talk about the few mistakes I made in Disney Simber. Granted, most I don't know what Disney Simber was. Here. I'll go through the one. Look at movies I've never seen. In my Aristocats review, I say that Never the butler it. is going to inherit the cat, and he wants to get rid of them because he hates cats. Well, oh. technically that's true, except I forgot to mention that the cat were going to inherit all the riches. And once they're out of the picture, the butler will inherit the money. Oh. Okay, does that really make the film any stronger? I guess it gives him more reason to kill them, but... Who leaves money to cats? I, it's still stupid. Cat people. Next is in both rescuer movies, I say that Miss Bianca is played by Zsa Zsa Rescuer? Nicole, when actually, it was her sister. I've never hey, heard of that one. Honestly, I'm just impressed that my fan base knew who either of these women were. I must have more Green Acres fans than I thought. What's Green Acres? Another is that I say the friends in a goofy movie are going to a concert when really they were just watching it at home. It was just Max who said he was going to appear at the concert on TV. Again, a minor mess up. Uh, but the one that people really freaked out over was when I called the leopard in Tarzan a cheetah. Oh, yes, I never well, knew people were so feline savvy. But well, yes, that would make this kitty a leopard. Yes. It's a cat, it has spots, whatever. Big difference. Again, yeah, one has stripes, mistake, one has spots, I'm pretty sure. Minor? How would you like it if I called these things a rabbit, a turtle, a good Super Bowl campaign? I wouldn't care. Oh, who was that? Oh, hey, look, audio that's muted. Because <sighs> he keeps doing the same weird owl song. Psychiatrists do have to go to medical school, you ass of an ox! 
I think do most they? people knew maybe what licenses? I meant by this, but it or is license? still technically a fuck up. What movie is this? referring to in my Patch Adams review is that oh, the Patch character Adams. they were portraying would be much better Never seen to it. be a psychiatrist as opposed to a doctor who performed operations. But either way, you still what gotta school go to is that medical school. Virginia Which Medical I University. Strangely too, when I heard that he was in the movie. I didn't mean to indicate that psychiatrists aren't doctors. They still have to know the biological, psychological, and social aspects of a patient. That way, they can tell if the problem is metabolic or psychiatric. I was referring True. more that a man who does nothing but act like Bozo the Jackass would be more fitted away from Rest the in peace, Robin Williams. Team, unless they're being used to staff him. This was after I his passing, that wasn't it? Manor wasn't at its best even back then, but I still have my doubts that the way these doctors talk was the norm. I mean, they were pretty much saying that all doctors back then were acting like... What? Oh. And that just doesn't seem as logical. Wouldn't it make more sense if you're a nice doctor that you would get more patients, that they would want to come and yeah. see you, that they would prefer you over doctors I just saw my doctor... Did Patch Adams really come and transform day? this? I have my suspicions. Great guy. Who am I to talk Got about no problems? a time period where Shall I was Dr. Green. Yet? <laughs> On the plus side, at least we don't have to put up with that horrible doctor bitch spasms again. Yeah, I bet you thought he was going to come in and do something funny, but nope, I shot him. He's dead. He's right there, lying on the floor. Oh? I really should do something about that corpse. <laughs> hey, look, more muted audio. I'm going to say it every time. It's it's the losing all meaning, as someone you said in the comments. You should Thomas the Tank Engine if you haven't seen the show. Oh, I think I've seen the okay. show. Yes, I have seen the show. That I never saw Holy show. crap. I was only reviewing the movie based on the fact that a lot of people want me to review it. And for the most part, people liked it. But to all those people oh my saying God. I need to see the show before I judge the movie, I'm here to make jokes. Calm the fuck down. Yeah, I people taking things way too serious. I haven't seen before, like the That's Pokemon like movie. movie, the Avengers. Heck, even the original. Hey, he's Star never seen the Avengers. I've barely seen, and I can still get through the movies okay. That's crazy. I've seen I'm the Avengers and the, the Pokemon movie. movie and the Thomas Tank Engine movie. I think. I definitely watch the show, the show or something. I don't in know. In which case, I get the feeling I would like the show even less. But sometimes part of the fun is not knowing about it and being really confused. That's what made a lot of people enjoy the Pokemon review. Now, if I said the show sucked despite oh, the fact I never saw it, then I can understand getting angry. But, but when I openly Alec Baldwin, acknowledge I've never name? seen it, I think it just makes for funnier moments when I don't know what's going on. I also hear some people were angry that I was shocked. Yeah, I've seen this. Like Alec I've Baldwin seen this. And Peter Fonda were I've seen this. When big name George Carlin was on the original show. Who? Well, Peter Fonda and Alec Baldwin, for the most part, were still doing big dramatic roles at that time. I love George Carlin, but... He was doing Tarzan 2 and Scary Movie 3. The shock value's oh. kind of taken down a few notches after you do that. Fair. But he's still awesome. Fuck yeah! What are those words? Kip his fuck on cocksucker motherfucker tits fart turd and twat. Now if that was in Tarzan uh -huh. Snake Engine, I'd probably like it. It would be rated R immediately. From that moment, it would immediately be an R. Maybe NC-17, I believe, is Pee living above R. Never seen... Pee Wee's Pay yes, House. Yes, another top 11 list, the top 11 nostalgic mindfucks. I say that the intro to Pee Wee's Play. Oh, yeah, I did react to that one. A nostalgic mindfuck. However, I say at one point that the only thing that never talked this was the floor. This is crack. Well, I was wrong. Apparently, even the floor got up to say a few lines every once in a while. In fact, he even had a name. His name was Flory. And I swear I don't know also, how I forgot. Also, did something happen with him in like a, a movie theater, like an erotic movie theater? Being an anti ground -dite. Well, let me tell you something. I have nothing against hardworking floors. Sure, they're taken for Does granted. Does Doug like Twitter? Sure, we walk over them all the time. But that doesn't mean they don't have feelings, too. Many of my good friends are floors. In fact, I have really? a good relationship with my floor here. Do Isn't you? that right, Howard? <laughs> Apparently, floors I need, can fire guns. I need to get my floor gun. I, I did not know that. How are you holding that thing? Uh, hey, look, more muted audio. I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it. It's now a running joke. Sauron couldn't fly into the Nexus because his ship would explode. Clad! In my Star Trek generation, oh, Star Trek. Do I ask why okay. That guy Sauron Do I even need to say it? A ship and fly it into the Nexus. Never seen Could it. Would you just save up your money and be like, shut up, please? <laughs> my God, that was easy. Hello, Nexus. How are you? Yeah, hey. Well, there actually is a line that explains why. I just need just fly into it with a ship. Our what? records show that every ship which has approached the ribbon has either been destroyed or severely damaged. Oh. Okay, so a ship can't fly into it. But 
still, aren't there other creative ways he could have pulled this off? Uh, like, aren't there still I don't know, space it's possible. suits in the future? If he knows where it's going, can't he just work his way out a bit and wait for it to hit him? And then the ship behind him would be destroyed? Hell, they still have beaming devices. Can't they just beam him in a spacesuit out to the Nexus and then let it hit him? There just has to be. Why is he trying to hit him? What is the significance but, of nevertheless, that? Nevertheless, my theory of flying a ship into the Nexus technically doesn't work. Now I know what you're thinking. Aren't there just one ahead. or two other screw-ups in your Star Trek Insurrection review? <clears throat> There's a commentary. Boom. Go listen to it. Oh. Sorry about some of the audio issues. Oh, why? What was the? Apparently that guy. He. I think he got. Like, he, wait, when did he disappear? Don't like, somebody gave me the... Ape, not a monkey. The lowdown on, like, tell right what happened now, with him. I'm not exactly an animal expert. I can't tell a cheetah from a leopard, and I can't tell a monkey from an ape. An orangutan, to be more specific. But, to be honest, I know the... monkey just sounds funnier. I don't care if it's wrong. I'll still yeah. call him a monkey. I mean, think about it. Imagine if Planet of the Apes was replaced by Planet of the Monkeys. Wouldn't you be it would not be ass a... off at that title? No. Or imagine if the monkeys were called the apes. That's not nearly as like what? whatever he is. He's still not funny. Oh, I've never heard of it. Determine whether or not you get a laugh. Lettuce, for example, is not funny. Cabbage is friggin' hilarious. My cabbage is lettuce. Cabbage, <laughs> fucking funny. And I know there's also the lettuces from Bioshock Infinite. Aren't the same thing, but again, lettuce, cabbage. <laughs> it always works. Cabbage. Pretty basic. He's not a monkey. Next one. He's not a, I get, yeah. Number five. It's going to be. Tamping on the windows can hurt whales. You can it? Oh god, that's a lot of people. Why are so many people banging? so much about animals today. In my Free Willy review, I point out a that. Free Willy? I've never seen Free Willy. I've been to SeaWorld. Banging on the window of a whale's pen. But it's not a well, though, but whatever. Amplified, not only does it sound louder, but they can also interpret it as danger. It can cause stress, lower their immune system, and even kill them. Wow, huh. where the hell was the whale lady on that one? I mean, she was like one of the caretakers, wasn't she? Shouldn't yeah, they yes, no. don't hit the glass like little idiots? That's like, wild. Nobody gets that excited. Like little kids would. Shouldn't there be a person down there or something making sure that people don't do this? I mean, kids do all sorts of stupid things. They watch this for crying out loud. Fred the movie, but Jesus again, Christ. Remember I can't Fred? Blame the movie technically for this mistake. It's still my own. That is why you failed. Oh, come on, you didn't know that. Didn't I, though? No, didn't you I? didn't. No, you didn't. No! Well, you're on the internet! And as we all know, all information from the internet is supposed to be right! You know, douchey, it just hit me. Why don't you come on board as a fact checker? No! Why not? Because then, then I, I couldn't complain, complain about it. No! Yeah, has a point. Hey, look. It's muted audio. Yet again, we meet again. I can hear nothing, and you can hear That's nothing. That's a pen, not a pad, you stupid... That's a pot. So on top of oh wait, or is a pot animals, not having I know a handle? About cookware as well. In my Gordy review, I referred to a pan as being a pot. Honestly, is that not I a pot? Always assumed they is were just a handle. The thing. I thought a no pot was just a deep pan. Yeah, okay. Basic, and I'm aware I should know better. Who cares? Just don't let Gordon Ramsay know I did this. Oh, f oh, oh, come on. I'm sure a lot of this comes from it's spending raw. less time in the kitchen and more time eating sugar frosted burrito stuffed hot pockets. Oh, I love those with the extra lard on the side. Lard. Oh, no, and the Delicious creamy butter taken from real liposuctions. And, and the side what? oil that's found in most suntan lotions. Those are the best. They are the best. I love them. I love them too. What is that a reference to? Oh, how dare we almost find something in common? Nothing too much to say about this one, except, honestly, I just need to spend more time around the stove. Well, yeah, no. Not too much. Broken. That's fair. Hey. You know why I can hear me drinking? Because there's no audio. Your let's play of Bart's Nightmare. Need I see more? I think okay. he's going to explain why he doesn't do game sure reviews anymore. Want to see this as number one. But really, when you get down to Battlefield it... Battlefield Earth is going to be in this. Or my 100th video. Wrong here. It just turned out to be a really bad video. But with that said, yeah, it's a pretty bad video. I guess I was just too behind the times of how Let's Plays work and what's appropriate to put in them. And boy, does it show. This is up there with Melvin as one of my biggest bombs. It's easily one of the nice. most despised videos because I don't give the Let's Play the proper time and respect it deserves. Now, oh. to be fair, that it, was sort of part of the I didn't the know this game existed. Tackling something that I thought was more simple, but it turns out it was much more difficult. I don't think you get a D minus to put on the though, fridge. The punchline just didn't play out. 
people got real tired real fast, and it's still considered to be one of the worst nostalgia critics. I even had to spend half of my next review oh. just apologizing for it. Now that's gotta be bad. But really, guys, don't worry. I know you're gonna love my Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion. Oh god, that game terrified me. So that's why he doesn't do video game reviews anymore? Okay. I guess he just doesn't have the time to... Didn't want to marry I've Edward never seen a Twilight, Twilight movie. You are hard! Yes, when I put Bella in my top 11 dumbasses in distress, I brought up that among her Wait, other is that really a list? pressuring Edward into marriage. Actually, I got it the other way around. It was Edward that was pressuring her into marriage. Because really, ladies, isn't that a common problem? Men pressuring you into marriage? God, we're just so obsessed with commitment. I guess I got confused by the fact that she was pleading him to turn her into a vampire. Which, from the sounds of it, is a much bigger and even dangerous commitment. So I figured marriage Why is that dangerous? asking that wouldn't be such a big deal. I like how so she had the one thing there. Her life as a blood-sucking beast of the night for the rest of her life. She's absolutely Wait, sure. Wait, I'm sorry. She jump off a cliff? bound together? That's obviously the much bigger issue that takes a lot more time. And don't get me wrong, it okay, is a big yeah. Issue, and it does take time. But she just hears the word vampire and she's like, I'm in, I'm in. Oh, well, whoever's idea it was, it still makes both of them look like This is actually people. the most I've ever but seen of a Twilight mess movie. Up when you mess up. It was Edward who wanted to get married, not Bella. I guess that means we can like her now, right? That was the cleanest hair of clothing ever. Oh, hey, look. It's not muted, but I'm probably gonna mute it for you. Your complete misunderstanding yeah. of the planet Cyclone. Yep. This one Battlefield I get Earth. a ton of emails about. And to be honest, which is why in the one. last two videos and this video review, I mentioned how it seems incredibly unlikely that an explosion wouldn't happen on their planet to set off an atmosphere that was radioactive. Uh-huh. Especially seeing how violent they were. But actually, the air was a reactive gas, not radiation. Nuclear radiation is what would set it off. And the oh. explosion isn't just an explosion, it's a nuclear explosion. Which I guess they're building up that the Cyclos never came across or tested out. We even referenced this in my Star Trek Insurrection review. Oh. It was that the air they breathed reacted violently to radiation! It's ironic because this brought on one of my biggest outbursts. Uh -huh. This is stupid! 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 His 100th video is a special video too, it was made number one. Uh -huh. But in reality, it actually wasn't cold. So the facts about why the planet really blew up are actually, for the most part, totally legitimate. The movie's still bad. But I still must ask, how can an advanced, weapon-savvy, violent race not have come up with nuclear fusion? Again, these things are apparently so advanced and so uh -huh. goddamn and they're not, not at all. happy that you know they would have come up with something that can be as harmful as nuclear fusion. These guys look for anything destructive, anything Uh-huh, anything. And yet somehow we, the more peaceful planet, came up with nuclear fusion and they didn't? I'm sorry, I still have a hard time believing it. It's just stupid. Oh, uh, here we go with the set. Yep, yeah, yeah, speed it, yep. Yeah. Is this the last time we did a top 11 F ups? Wow, this movie really did a number on you, didn't it? Yeah. It's such a bad movie. You know what? I'm just gonna leave him in his place. Uh, he's the nostalgia critic. He remembers it, so you didn't have Yeah, it. I don't. I've never seen it. Pretty pretty. No, no, no. Oh, hey, look at that. Muted audio. Take this moment with the muted audio to remind you my birthday is coming up Sunday. I should be live streaming. I'll be... Sh today, this video is going to live on Monday. I'll be live streaming today, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and next Monday. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of live streaming on top of all the other videos as well because I do this all myself, all the editing every single time. And I read every single comment as well. <sighs> okay. Oh. That's a typical Twitter argument, but that was the top 11 Nostalgia Critic F-Ups Part 3. I don't know uh, why he hasn't done a Part 4. Maybe just stop making mistakes. Maybe he just turned into a perfect being after this. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe it's because these videos didn't get a ton of views, considering most of his videos that are 8 years old have 
uh, double or triple or even more views than that. But this is great. We finally got to the Battlefield Earthland. It took the literal longest path possible to get to him talking about it. But we finally got to it. I don't know what the next video should be. Definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you're subscribed. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Hope I made it a tiny little better. But until the next video, take care and keep the music. We were